Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very, very, very special video because I'm going to introduce to the world my new coloring book. Yay! Chica Zodiaco. And I know the title is in Spanish, but don't worry if you don't speak the language because it's a coloring book. You can buy it either way and enjoy it as much as I do. It has a test page so you can try all your materials there and the 12 zodiac signs, one in each page. But I want to remind you that I'm giving away two free coloring pages on my website. So I'm going to leave a link down below so you can go and download your two coloring pages and try it and see if you like it and then buy the book. So zodiac signs say a lot about you and your personality, but do you know that colors do the same? They can tell a lot about you and how you're feeling at that moment. So on this video, I'm going to talk about how to start coloring and the benefits coloring has to improve your emotional, mental, and even your physical health. So how do you start coloring? There's basically three ways to start. The first one is just do it. Pick a color and start creating. Don't worry about if it's pretty or not. Uh, don't worry about the lights. Don't worry about the color scheme. Just do it and express yourself. And here we go with benefit number one, and it's coloring helps you to connect with yourself. It's like catharsis, it's like meditating, it relieves stress. A lot of people, a lot of therapists are recommending coloring because you just focus on that moment. And that's benefit number two. It trains your brain to focus. So you're focusing on coloring and not on your problems. The second way to start coloring is by copying from real life. Pick a picture. If you're coloring a tree, just go outside and observe real trees and leaves and the colors. They change with the seasons, with the lighting. Just experiment and study nature. And if you're coloring people, just study other people, observe. Benefit number three, it helps you connect with the world. When you start coloring, you just fall in love with the whole process of studying light and skin colors and the movement of the hair. Uh, you're going to understand me once you start coloring. So the third way to start coloring is choose a color scheme. And what do I mean by that? Is just pick a, a piece of art that you like or an image that you saw on Pinterest or maybe a painting that you have at home or on your screensaver. Look at the colors, the ones you like, and use them and create something new with that. And maybe you can put a little bit of your creativity on it. What brings us to benefit number four? Coloring sparks your creativity and that's nothing new, we all know that. When you do it more and more, you get more creative and you want to experiment more with other materials and different techniques. And uh. So now that you know how to color, go and pick your favorite coloring book. It doesn't have to be mine, but I'm going to leave a link down below if you want to get mine. To me, it's really important to know that the coloring book is not heavy because I like taking it everywhere with me, sometimes to work or if I'm traveling, I like having mine with me. And also the drawings, I like to know that I'm going to be able to start one and finish it because sometimes the patterns are too complicated or I don't like the kind of illustrations. For example, I don't enjoy coloring cities that I've never been to. Or if I see that it's gonna take me a long time to finish the book, that stresses me out a little bit. And I designed this one especially to make people feel satisfied and happy once they're done with their coloring. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Thank you to the people that have been buying my books. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.